want to want to see me do it keep watching so what I am going to do though um this is a scalp protector I got that from my local um, beauty store this is um ampro pro style pre-cream for, for sensitive scalp I'm not sure if they still sell this or not but um I got this from my local beauty supply store I know I don't know a while ago and I've used it in my clients hair on their scalps and stuff and so I'm just going to use it on mine because I do not want to over process or to run the risk of over processing my hair so I'm just going to put that all around my hairline and if I'm out of focus a little bit guys I do apologize I'm going to put that on my ears a little bit I'm being really gentle with my natural hair. And I'll probably, um, I'm just putting a little bit of this on my scalp, I'm basing my scalp. Because again, I haven't had a relaxer in about two years, I want to say. So like I said, I think the last time I relaxed my, my hair was about two years ago. just really really miss wearing my hair out like out flat I want to say and my idea the idea that I have in my mind is that I am going to um, once I relax my hair I'm going to give myself a really good um, conditioning treatment I'm going to give myself a good trim and I am going to either roll a set the hair, the long hair, or I'm going to wear it wrapped for a week. Um, because when my when my hair was natural, I was uh, shampooing my hair and conditioning it, deep conditioning it every week. And I'm going to continue to do that um, because I, what I realized is that my hair did flourish. Um, it did very well. It got stronger. My edges grew back in when I went natural, but it was because I was taking my time and, you know, doing, being responsible. Sometimes, as you know, hairstylists, cosmetologists, beauticians, whatever you want to call us, um, we, we, we're people too, and we don't take the best care of our hair. I'm not going to say all of us, but I've been guilty of um, not taking the best care of my hair, um, especially when I had a um, relaxer. I was, you know, the, uh, this past time, and I suffered the consequences of my actions. So, uh, I, have, I have enjoyed being natural. I have, but it's, it was also a teaching moment for me um, on how to actually really care for my hair, no matter if it's in its natural state or if I'm going to uh, chemically relax it. You know, it's just, you know. It was a um, it was a good teaching moment for me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not because my sides are so super duper short. I'm not going to put any base in there because I don't want to get it on the hair. But I am going to be mindful that there's no base on my sides. So I'm going to start in the back of my hair and putting it on my actual the hair shaft not to the scalp just yet but the hair shaft and keep in mind guys I am not trying to really make my hair bone straight I just want to make it manageable really and technically 
my hair does not get bone streaked. And I really feel like because I've been um, natural for so many years, I don't know if it will get bone streaked anyway. But I definitely don't want it to be bone straight. That's not my goal. My goal is not bone straight. My goal is to have a little bit of texture left in the hair. I'm trying to be gentle, guys, with pulling it apart. And I'm sure you guys are probably going to see me take my gloves off in a little bit. Because when I'm doing my hair, that's what I... That's what I normally do, especially when I can't I can't feel what what I need to feel. I'm I'm, I'm not advising you to do this, and believe me, you should not you should not do this, especially with a chemical like this. But I have and I will take them off, especially if I'm feeling like I can't get to the areas that I need to get to, or I can't feel what I need to feel. You guys see that? That's, that's my puppy down there. She's like, Mom, what are you doing to your hair? Are you crazy? What are you doing, woman? And then you say, Mom, what are you doing to yourself? No, get off of that girl. to break that break my hair apart my hair is really thick uh, it's just thick and it's curly Okay, guys, it is all throughout the hair shaft, and now I'm just going to go back and place it close to the to on the roots of my hair without getting trying not to get it on my actual scalp because we are. Let's go back to your daily routine. Okay guys, so I got it all in, and now I'm just I'm just adding it onto the sides and working it in. If I didn't tell you guys, this is um, medium for coarse hair. And my scalp is feeling pretty good. No issues so far. I don't expect any issues, but I'm just saying. No issues.
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna smooth and start to sh help straighten the product, pull the part, product through your hair. Trying to be as gentle as I possibly can be. It would be silly of me to think of that I'm not gonna have some shedding because I am. And I know that. And I did not comb my hair for two days because I did not want to agitate my scalp, but I probably should have. Curious to see how long my sides really are. Wow, look at that. that joker down. We are smoothing these jerkers down. Yes. Smoothing them jokers down. And as you can see, guys, I have a very strong, very strong curl pattern. And it is taking the most, the absolute most, to straighten my hair out. And I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. I'm not mad at it at all. And if it doesn't come completely straight, again, I'm not mad at it. I'm not going to be mad at it. It just is what it is, guys. I feel a little something on my neck, so I want to get that off my neck.
Okay, guys. It is time to wash it out. So I'll be back once I've shampooed and neutralized my, my hair thoroughly. And I'll let you guys see what it's looking like. Wish me luck. So, okay, guys, this is how my hair is looking after my relaxer. As you can see, the relaxer took pretty good, but um, my hair is still not broken down all the way. It still has some, um, some type of curl to it, a much looser curl, but still a curl nonetheless. As you can see, my roots are not as straight. You can still see texture there, which I'm okay with. That is what I wanted. You can still see texture up in there, which again, I'm thoroughly okay with. This is the other side here. And I'm, I'm good with that. Um, I deep conditioned my hair for about one hour. And um, if you guys are interested in what conditioner I use, I can um, make a video and show you uh, how I make my conditioner. But yeah, guys, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, wrap my hair, send it to dryer, let it dry. And once it's dry, I'm just going to um, comb it down, trim it up, and then um, just go from there. And, and I'm gonna track my progress uh, with how fast my hair is growing and the condition of my hair. Um, yeah, guys. Oh, something something else I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to show you um, how much hair that I lost during the whole process. And this is about this is it. This is all that was in the um, in my little drain catcher. Uh, it may look like a lot to some people, but that's truly, truly not a lot at all. Not at all. So I chalked it up as that to um, natural fall. Natural hair fall. <clears throat> I'm going for, especially if you're relaxing your hair for the first time after being natural for so long. Um, again, if you want to relax or tech slacks your natural hair, by all means, do that. Do not allow people to make you feel bad because that's what that's what you want to do, or you your or you know you, you just want to try something something new. Everybody likes different things, so. Just go forward, take great care of your hair, and be happy. So, till next time, guys. Love you guys, and talk to you later. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.